Hey Grace, hope you guys are doing well. We'll start off your reading with some romance angel messages. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. A lot of you could be in this self-love energy. I'm also feeling that for some of you, you could be connecting with someone new, but spirit is saying to keep the focus on yourself. Yes, we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. For some of you, you could be flirting with someone um, or somebody's going to start flirting more with you. Spirit, one more. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, dis discuss your feelings with each other. So, um, somebody here likes you. Could be flirting with this person already. You shine so bright. Okay. We have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Somebody wants to tell you the truth. And I feel like they've been trying to decide how to come forward, what to say. I do feel like somebody could be showing you more energy through their actions here, though, with this flirt card. And we do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and reveal. So somebody here is going to reveal how they feel to you. Um, we have confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So this person may not know how you feel about them at this point. <clears throat> we have habits. I don't know if we will ever change. So this person could have like a bad habit of, maybe they're afraid of commitment. We do have commitment here. Maybe a bad habit of sabotaging things, like in relationships, space, I need more time to think. So this could be you or this person. Now I'm definitely feeling like this person wants to reveal something to you here. They want to reveal how they feel. I do see you guys having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation soon. Spare, what are the messages for Aquarius? Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Somebody here could be looking at your social media, wondering what you're doing. Scarcity tactics. So I feel like this person is like, they want to come forward. I don't know, I'm feeling that it's almost given like hidden agenda type of energy. This person is planning to come forward. I just got surprised. Maybe this person is planning to surprise you. There's something about being a little bit indirect now i do feel like you guys are gonna have this direct conversation but right now this person they can be being a little indirect we have reflecting so they're thinking a lot about this and i do feel like if this is someone that you've been connecting with for a while they could feel like time is up we have wasting time you could be feeling like okay either make a move or i'm gonna move on or i'm and I'm just not going to put any more energy into this. And I do feel like this person, they could be kind of picking up that you're feeling like that. That you're about this close to moving on. Or for some of you, you already have. Um, we have inside, inside Scoop, A Closer Look, Nosy, Up in Your Business. Somebody's up in your business. It could be this person or it could even be someone else. Uh, romantic Love Affair. So for some of you, this could be an affair. Um, but somebody is really into you here. Or what are the messages planning to ask you out so yeah this person like scarcity tax this person is planning something but i feel like they this could be someone that like wants to surprise you i don't know why i'm getting that energy because there's something about them being indirect i can see a future with you i want to be more than friends so this could be someone you're already friends with, already flirting with. Maybe this person's being more flirty. Maybe you're having more heart-to-heart -heart conversations, deeper conversations with this person. I have other offers, but I only want you. This person only wants to be with you. Maybe this is someone that does get a lot of attention. Maybe you get a lot of attention, or you both do, but this person only wants you. I'm afraid you will hurt me like they did drinking the pain away I made the wrong choice so for some of you this person has made the wrong choice or they made the wrong choice in the past I have a confession I feel like that's that heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in I run away hoping you will chase me Virgo everybody loves you so again you could be someone that gets a lot of attention this person notices that um, I've never felt love like this before 
third party in the reverse. So again, I feel like this person made a wrong choice in um, the beginning, but I feel like they dropped that third party. They realized they only want to be with you and starting out as friends. So again, this could be someone that you are already friends with and we have choosing you. So yeah, this person is choosing you. For some reason, I feel like it could have taken this person a while to like to either recognize this connection or to want to make a move or maybe to have the balls to make a move. There's something about this taking a minute. Virgo again. For some of you, you definitely could be done with a Virgo and Earth sign energy. I'm also getting, we're in Virgo season. So Virgo season, this person may make this move. They may come forward very soon. Aries for some of you. This feels heaven sent. This person feels a very strong connection to you. Capricorn. One flipped over, but I'll let it come out. Let's start a relationship. I want commitment with you. This person wants commitment. I regret what I did slash said. Maybe this person said something or did something that made you question, like, is this going to work? Pisces, for some of you. Madly in love with you. This person's in love with you. Red flag. We will clarify to see what that's about. For some of you, you may feel like, because this person said something or did something that made you feel like this is a red flag, or maybe this person gives you a little bit of red flags. We have soulmate, though, so... Very strong connection, but there's something here that maybe doesn't sit right with you. I'm willing to give you all of me. So I really feel, I'm getting very strongly that you have changed this person's perception on love and relationships. At first, maybe as you guys are friends or when you first met, maybe you felt like this person was a bit of a red flag here. Uh, maybe you watched the way that they did things, the way that they moved. Maybe they were involved with, you know, someone else, that third party energy. Um, but it's like being around you and being friends with you, this person has fallen in love with you. Cancer. For some of you. One more. Libra. One more. I have a huge crush on you. Hold on, I'll get the one that flipped over in the deck. And we have Taurus. Okay. Spirit clarify red flag. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Maybe you felt like this person was just a little unstable. The fact that this is clarifying red flag. Five of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like this person, they didn't acknowledge this connection. Maybe this person doesn't have their shit together financially with this Five of Pentacles, the star. Maybe like in the beginning, you just felt like this person was a little shady. Scarcity, ta scarcity tactics, the Five of Swords. I don't know, something about how this person moved in the beginning, you weren't sure about it. We got the Queen of Wands. Maybe you felt like they were a little loose with their sexual energy, with this Queen of Wands energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Here's Leo Sag. The Six of Cups. Maybe they were dealing with someone from their past. I don't know, but the thing is with the Six of Cups, you have come together with this person. Whether you guys end up together or not, I feel like you will. This person's going to ask you out, and it's up to you if you want to accept it. Um... But I do feel that you have changed something in this person. At first, you were questioning their energy. Maybe they were, but maybe they didn't like to be committed. Two of Wands. You, you've made this person... It's like they're turning their back on what they used to do. They're abandoning that way of doing things because of this connection with you, the star. It's like they know... And maybe you guys have had the discussion, or maybe they just pick up on it they know that they if they come towards you they have to come correct and they have to mean it and i feel like this person they want to do that so yeah at first you did feel like they were a bit of a red flag the page of wands maybe you thought they were childish you didn't like the actions that they took so what are their intentions the ace of wands they want a new beginning with you what are their intentions towards Aquarius? The Ten of Cups. 
the King of Swords. They want to be serious. I do feel, again, with this, um, you could have people up in your business here. I do feel like there could be jealousy here, Five of Wands. Just noticing there's a lot of people here. <laughs> so there could be people up in your business. Maybe there's a friend group, something. But this person's intentions are the Ten of Cups and the King of Swords. So they want to come to you clear, honest, serious. King of Swords doesn't play around the Ten of Cups. They want to build a happy life with you. Eight of Pentacles, they're willing to put in the work. They're willing to heal whatever shit they were dealing with. They're ready to heal and move on from that energy. So I'm going to pull some physical feature cards just to better understand who we're talking about here. So what are the cards for Aquarius? Red lipstick. Green eyes. Beauty mark. Black hair, square face, this person may have dimples, hazel eyes, okay, dimples really wants to come out, this person may have dimples, fashionista, this person could wear sunglasses or glasses. Individuality. This person could have a very individual style. Definitely not somebody basic. And we have fluffy hair. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my training is down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.